Thanks, Jay. The world's oldest and largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender film festival is now 35 years old. Frameline continues to produce the granddaddy of all gay film festivals with over 230 films in four venues. The historic Castor Theatre serving as home base, as well as the Roxy and Victoria Theatres in the Mission and the Rialto Cinema's Elmwood in Berkeley. Our correspondents Alice Heimsoth and Eric Chong are up in San Francisco with more details. Alice? Raven, the Castor Theatre right behind me is home base for the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival. This historical landmark seats over 3,000 moviegoers and will screen the most popular films in Frameline 35. I tell ya, there is no experience like sitting in this house packed to the rafters with die-hard film fans. Two of the movies playing in this theater are opening night film Gun Hill Road and Becoming Chaz, which chronicles Chaz Bono, who we all know is Sonny and Cher's little girl, as he undertakes surgery to becoming male. Alice, remember when I told you in the car about Chaz Bono's gender confirmation surgery, you almost drove off the road? <laughs> I sure do. But you ought to know better than to talk to me about sex changes when I'm driving. Just be quiet and let me explain more about the films. After three years in prison, Enrique returns home to the Bronx to find a wife estranged from him and a son who prefers to be his daughter in Gun Hill Road. This official selection from this year's Sundance Film Festival is Frameline 35's opening night film. You don't like baseball anymore, fine. I, I get that. What do you like, Michael? Football? Basketball? You like school? Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. What'd you learn in class today? I don't know. The usual. Yeah. You weren't learning how to cut class with your faggoty little friends. Enrique. It ain't like I never cut class before, but don't lie to me. Kike. <laughs> For most transgender people, transitioning is a private and intimate journey. But if America knows you as chastity, the daughter of Sonny and Cher, your gender reassignment procedure is now public and your transitioning is more than physical. The public refuses to let go of your past as you move into a new chapter of your life in becoming Chaz. Do you never like the way you look? Mm -mm. No, I mean, I've hated my body since puberty. You know, it's different as a kid because, you know, boys and girls are the same as a kid. Other than genitalia, there's no difference between a boy and a girl. When I went through puberty, it was obvious, like, oh, what's happening? In high school, often at night, I would go to bed praying that I'd wake up the next day as a boy. But, you know, sex change never occurred to me at that point. Two of the four venues for the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival are the Roxy Theater and the Victoria Theater, just a 22-minute walk from the Castro. Eric? Thanks, Alice. The Roxy Theater and the Victoria Theater behind me are the two oldest operating theaters in San Francisco. These theaters are smaller, and many of the films screened here usually don't get a regular theatrical release, like the films at the Castro. So the festival is your only opportunity to see them. San Francisco native Margaret Cho returns to the silver screen with another film from her latest stand-up routine, Cho Dependent. The original ass master keeps her fans in stitches with more comedic fodder from her three-week stint on Dancing with the Stars, current series Drop Dead Diva requiring her to move to Atlanta, and everyone's favorite, her Korean mom. I like sex day. But if you're going to be sexting, check the number. <laughs> Just check the number. Because I was sexting with this guy I was fucking. I fucking need to come so bad right now. Then I get a phone call from my mother. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're coming! <laughs> what time? We go from cho-dependent to co-dependent. Lesbian space alien seeks same, that is. 
in the style of the 1950s B-movie kitsch, three lesbian space aliens, Bar, Zyler, and Zoix, who I nickname Clingy, Sleazy, and Sticky, go to planet Earth in search of relationships. A bashful greeting card store employee falls for one of the aliens, while two government agents closely track their romance. Get ready for this Plan 69 from outer space. Hi, are you codependent lesbian space alien? Yeah, hi. <laughs> That's a really great costume. Um, I, re I really liked your ad. It's really original. I myself am from Zots, a tiny planet oxyparallel to the rings of Saturn. A planet faced with extinction if my mission is not successfully completed. My job is to have my heart broken on the planet Earth. My payment is that I will be allowed to return. Yet I have not been successful in interesting Earth inhabitants. I have written over 2,000 one-line love letters and have scattered them about, but to no avail. I decided to seek out a fellow alien in the hopes that she could advise me. Advise you? On how to score. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a jokey personal ad. I didn't realize that this was like a whole role-playing scenario, and I'm just really not into that. I should go. Someone, are you, excuse me. The opening and closing night parties are the hottest spots to be in during the festival. To find out more, go to frameline.org. Raymond? Thanks, Eric. And if you find it hard to figure out which of the over 230 films to see at the 11-day film festival, there's a search engine available at the Frameline website where you can just pick out the specific subject matter you're looking for. Anything from butch femme to politics to youth to elders. And it will give you a list of the films that meet your criteria. Go to frameline.org for more information. These next two films in the festival are destined to be favorites. From the makers of Rock Haven, Colma the Musical, and Bear City, Longhorns is an 80s-themed comedy about straight frat boys who don't find it difficult to give each other a hand during college while they indulge in some quality male bonding. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's call your goat now. Will you be my date for the fall dance, Kevikins? If dumb were dirt, you'd cover an acre. <laughs> well, if brains was dynamite, you couldn't blow your nose. It's wear blue jeans if you're gay day. Numb nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run. You better hurry now. Hurry on. <laughs> Hi there. Haven't seen you around the dorm before. I'm new. So sad. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. You know it's a wear jeans if you're gay day. Of course. I organized it. Oh, shit. That's cool. Strange how everyone's jeans seem to be in the laundry today. One of the festival's showcase films, Leave It on the Floor, is best described as Paris's Burning meets Glee. Director Sheldon Larry's film introduces us to the House of Eminence, a ragtag family of fierce voguing and singing performers competing for the trophy of the big ballroom competition. Don't try it. I've got skills most bitches only dream about. <laughs> like what? Like I can move. And better than that, I can teach others how to move. Like one of them striptease teachers? Striptease teacher? <laughs> I swear that when I get that legend trophy, Justin Timberlake will be calling me to choreograph his next video. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Laugh now, but you'll be eating my stuff later. How is Justin Timberlake gonna know about you? Everybody's gonna know about me. I have a plan. Now see, Justin is everything. I love his butt, his clutch, his lips, his hips. Just wait till he sees all of this. I know he can't resist. 
Nothing will be sweeter, sweeter at all. You watch, my life will change the very second Justin calls. Look at how I roll. I got your attention. In complete control, and I ain't afraid to mention. Take a tip from me, the words from above. This is my decree, and it fits me like a glove. Cause I pray to stay clear. I pray to stay cool. I pray to pull the world, but just in store of gold. Cause I pray to stay clear. I pray to stay cool. I pray to pull the world, but just in store of gold. The festival trailer is one of the eagerly awaited features of the film festival. Executive Director Casey Price explains the audience's love-hate relationship with the trailer. Frameline's audience is so incredibly passionate, as you may know, and they take so much pride and ownership over the film festival itself, and that means ownership of the trailer as well. So I think that um, a lot of uh, film festivals can get away with just making a trailer, but not Frameline. Frameline's audience gets so invested in the trailer. It seems like the, the, they either really like it or they really don't. Um, but there have been times where I've, I've noticed indifference as well. So, um, but I think that's, that's a lot of the reason. It has to do with the passionate audience. And making its debut, the 35th San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival trailer. From Sweden, Fida or Til, Four More Years, is a romantic comedy of a closeted leader of a political party who finds himself falling head over heels in love with someone he's not supposed to. The problem is not that the object of his affection is a man, but that he is the number two guy of the opposing political party that defeated him in the elections. Mycket stod i på högkanten. Hör du? Det är många rika som ska bli rikare och många klyftor som ska bli större. Och själv då, hur går det att styra landet? Nej, det är så mycket man ska förstöra, vet du. Skolan, företagsklimatet, rättssystemet. Arbetsmarknaden. Försvaret. Varning, två, säkert inte. Förlåt, det här helvete. Nej, 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 titta bort. Jag ska inte läsa. Nej, ställ upp, titta in i väggen, nu är snäll. Blunda. Jag ska hålla för öronen och sjunga också. Ja, jag gör det. Oh. Jag spräckte deodoranten där. Men du räddar pungen. Ja. Du står på Folkpartiets framtid. And the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival is scheduled for June 16 to 26. To find out more on the film festival, go to frameline.org. And if you missed a previous edition of Outlook Video, you can watch extended versions of our segments and archived past programs on the Outlook Video YouTube channel at youtube.org slash outlookvideo. And be sure to click on the subscribe button to be notified of the latest videos on our channel. Also friend us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Outlook Video. Outlook Video is made possible by generous donations from viewers like you and talented volunteers behind the camera, whose names you'll see as we close. We close the program with the scene from the film Leave It on the Floor, scheduled for this year's San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival. As always, thank you for watching us, and we'll see, see you, you next, next month. month.